colour grading. It's always been an area of filmmaking that I've been absolutely horrendous at, but I slowly and surely feel like I'm starting to get to grips with colour grading my films. So I thought, you know what? Let me teach you lot how to make your own LUTs so you don't have to go out and just buy a load of other people's LUTs. Save them pennies and that and actually learn the process of grading your films. But hold your horses, James. Is this a new laptop? Hold on a sec. Two screens, surely not. What's going on, you lot? I hope you're all sweet. So yeah, mate, check out the absolute state of this Asus Zenbook Pro Duo, mate. Double screens, touch screen. Are you taking the mic, mate? I can now chuck my timeline down at the bottom, have a big monitor at the top. This has made editing fun again, mate. Thanks to Intel for sending me this laptop for a couple of days to play about with. I'm probably gonna be tearing my air out when I've got to send it back, but you know, is what it is. So let's get straight into it and show you lot how to make your own LUTs. So for this example, I'm gonna be taking a scene out of my short film, Space Travel. It's probably the first ever film I've felt like pretty good about the grade on. And a lot of you lot in the comments were asking about this grade. So let me take it completely off and redo this grade. So this was the final look that I managed to achieve. So let's take that off and see the very raw original file. So here is our shot. We're gonna go up to effects and we're gonna get Lemetri color. We're gonna drag this color into our shot. Now what we're gonna do is actually go up to window, we're gonna go workspaces and we're gonna click on color. Now that's gonna bring up a whole new work face and allow you to actually change all of the colors over here on the right hand side. So we're actually gonna go over to here and we're gonna to go to effect controls. And in our effect controls, you'll be able to see the Lemetri color tab. Now, initially to our shot, we just wanna do color correction and we wanna get our exposure right. So for me, I tried really hard to get my look and my colors as close as I possibly could in camera to my final grade. So obviously I use the blue gel over on the left hand side on top of the TV to make that light really, really blue. And then I use like a slightly warmer lamp on the right hand side. And in terms of my exposure, I kind of got it exactly where I wanted it to. I do wanna make a few changes though, just to give it like a more stronger atmospheric look. So the first thing that I'm gonna to do to this shot is I'm actually gonna increase my blacks by about 1.5. Yeah, that's probably about right. As you can see, it just kind of softens them blacks off over on the right hand side and in the more darker areas. And then all I'm gonna do is bring up my highlights ever so much and my shadows by a tiny, tiny bit. So now I've actually got my shot at a kind of decent baseline in terms of my exposure and my color correction. I don't really need to do any color correction to this, but if you need to bring up the heat or the cold in your image to make it at the right color temperature, then do that before you go on to this next step of actually creating your LUT. So with my baseline image, I'm actually gonna go over down here and I'm gonna grab a frame. Now I'm gonna save this image as a PNG file. You can save this anywhere you want. Let me call it George uh, Space Shot One. And I'm actually gonna save that shot. Now you're gonna open up that frame in Photoshop. Now once you've got that frame over in Photoshop, you're gonna highlight your layer one, you're gonna go up to layer, and then you're gonna go new background from layer. Next thing we're gonna do is go up to layer and we're gonna to go to new adjustment layer and I'm gonna select hue and saturation. Now the hue and saturation toggle is gonna to allow you to change all of the different colors in the image. So if I go over to here, I'm gonna click master and I'm gonna click on the yellows. Now the kind of look that I want, I want it to be really warm in certain areas and really cold in other areas. So in the yellows tab, I'm actually gonna drag the yellows over to the left hand side. Now you can see that that's changed all of them yellow colors slightly more warm when I toggle off and on that hue and saturation tab. Now the next thing I wanna do is actually change that blue over on the left hand side to a more teal color. So if I go back up to the yellows, let's click on the blues and then we're gonna drag the hue of the blues over to the left hand side probably 
around there because the image is only 8 bit and it's going to start to break if we push it a little bit too far. Now up over in this section there are still a lot more colours that we can actually change but I made sure that in the shot there was only really some yellows and some blues so I only really want to play about with them two. I want to kind of desaturate every other colour and just make them two colours the main two colours in the frame. Now the good thing is over here we can actually adjust the saturation of these certain colours as well so we can bring out the colour more and kind of take it away. So in my shot I wanted to kind of keep it around the saturation that it already was. I don't really need to change that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to layer, new adjustment layer and I'm going to change the colour balance. Now you can see down here that we've now got the colour balance layer and this allows you to change your shadows, mid-tones and your highlights. Now I really want to bring them highlights over to a more warm colour. So if you go onto highlights you can drag that over slightly more warmer and I'm probably going to bring just a touch of yellow in there as well to balance that red out. There we go. So if I toggle that on and off you can see how that whole highlighted area has become more warm. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the shadows. I'm going to bring a tiny bit of warmth in to them shadows because I want to kind of make the scene look a little bit warmer so that we can feel a little bit more atmosphere in there. And if I now toggle that on and off, you can see exactly what that layer has done to the shot. Now that there is actually pretty damn good. That is kind of where I want my shot. Now there's lots of other things up in the layer adjustment layer tab that you can play around with. You can also do your curves, your exposures, but I kind of got my exposures right in the first initial grade and color correction. So once I've got my look, I'm then gonna go up to file. We're gonna go on export and we're gonna go color lookup tables. Now we're going to click on colour lookup tables and we're going to save this as a dot cube. Then we're going to click on OK and then we're going to save this LUT. Save. There you go mate, your LUT has now been saved. So if we go back over into Premiere Pro and we come out of basic correction, we go into creative, we're going to grab a look, we're going to go on browse, then we're going to go on exactly where we saved that LUT. There it is mate, open, boom. Our LUT has just been dropped. There is my LUT, I've just created that look. And now once that LUT is actually in, you can then obviously dial in the intensity of the LUT, you can make it really, really intense, but that's a little bit too much for me. So I like to keep it at around 100% because I like to get it right in Photoshop. But of course, do whatever you want at this point. Now once you've actually got your LUT on, you can then make a few little minor adjustments now that the colour's at the right place. You might actually think, you know what, maybe my shadows are a little bit too soft, so let's bring them back down a little bit to make the image a bit harder, but I actually want to keep my image nice and soft. And then of course you can play around with your saturations, all of that kind of stuff once the colour's in the right place, but you should really get your saturations of your colours, oh, hold your horses, what's going on here? at the right point in Photoshop because then you can change the individual parameters of the saturations of different colors. So yeah mate, that is how you create your LUTs. And then all I have to do is drag and drop them LUTs over onto all of my other shots throughout the video and then obviously adjust them because each frame has different lighting, different colors. So yeah man, that's essentially how I do it. But hang about people, can we just take a second to admire the absolute state of this laptop mate? It's got a super vivid 4K touch screen with a naughty little touchpad down at the bottom and it don't just look the nuts mate. It's got one of them 9th gen Intel Core H series processors mate, so we're talking bits. Now, but on a serious note people, this thing is actually super damn powerful and it is like an absolute mobile workhorse mate. You know what, it's pretty damn sick how Intel are like collaborating with these laptop brands to make products that actually inspire creativity for people to actually create stuff on these things. You can see how they're developing laptops to fully immerse creators. Like this touchscreen literally takes you into a different realm when it comes to editing remotely, mate. And it ain't just about practicality when it comes to these laptops. Intel are really trying to push their internal performance of these things to make your workflow super seamless. 
And you think that was sick, mate? I'm soon gonna be reviewing some of them 10th gen numbers, mate. Cool, these generations are gonna be nearly as old as me. Anyway, people, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you gained a lot of value from that grading tutorial, and you also got to see an absolutely sick overview of this absolute beast. I'll be leaving all the links in the description so that you can go and check all of this stuff out. And I'll be catching you lot in the next video, mate. You lot already know that. We'll be seeing each other very, very soon. In a bit. Oh! Oh!